I'm going to try to go over what I like to call the eye office suit. Uh, there's a few different ways to get to it, as always. Uh, you can go to your eye docs, and there will be office. You can go to applications on your desktop, or you can go to your eye bar and launch applications through there. Now, the first one that we use mostly would be an eye docs, which is our word processor. Uh, it does handle and format uh, doc files if need be. Uh, you can do everything else that any other word processor can that add, you know, pictures and edit the fonts and stuff, uh, add tables, print, of course. Our next thing is going to be our eye sheets. This is our spreadsheet. Uh, just like Excel, and it can open and edit Excel files as well. Um, on each of these uh, programs I'm showing you, I'm going to make a separate video for it because there's just, I feel too much to go over in one 10 minute video. Here's our eye presentation. This can view um, and only view your PowerPoint presentations things. Uh, for us to be able to edit or create, I should say, a something that's like a PowerPoint presentation, we need to download another program. And there's a, another video uh, that I made, talked about how to install new applications. Um, but it's called iShow. And here we can make slideshows or presentations, I should say of whatever you want. You can add text and photos and everything just like you would any normal presentation maker. And of course we have our calendar which not only is the calendar but you can also schedule things in there. And uh, as you can see you can add up to five different colors here that mean different things like work or whatever. Uh, there's a whole other video on this as well. So it's also used as a task manager or can be used. We have our contacts, which is our address book. It uh, supports the V card, which just about everyone that I know of uses that these days. And you can see it has plenty of fields for it. We have another video for this as well that you can look at. Of course, we can't get by these days without a calculator, so we have an iCalc here for us. You can even download an iFinance, and this is a great little tool for balancing your checkbook. And of course, you can use it for other things as well. And another application you can download is called iMail. So it does what it says. It checks your emails and things. Uh, for now, at the date of this video, uh, it can only do POP3 accounts um, to set up for that. Uh, I know that it's in production for the IMAP and some other things, and this will be greatly improved uh, you know, within the coming year, possibly sooner. And, of course, we all need to keep up with our news and things at our office. So we have our RSS feed reader. Um, this will read the RSS feeds. Uh, this one as well, I've already made a video for. So I invite you to go over there and watch it. And of course, you can always go to the channel's homepage, and you'll see a link to the iOS websites. Um, you can go there, and there's documentation in the wikis and other stuff that might be quite handy in forms as well.